I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't saw this much death. I don't think I ever saw this much death, period. Like back to back to back to back to back to back since the 4th of July. Illinois State Police are investigating another expressway shooting. You're looking live at the Dan Ryan. Breaking news out of the Chatham neighborhood tonight. Someone in this car was shot and killed on the Dan Ryan. We are following reports of a man shot on the Dan Ryan. So breaking overnight, a shooting on the Dan Ryan Expressway. One person is dead, two others wounded, and an overnight shooting on the Dan Ryan Expressway. Y'all be dissing and doing all that crazy stuff. Little TJ from 800 be trolling. Now everybody on the comments on uh, Square 8, they laughing at them. I don't, I don't see one good comment on it. They clapping, they happy. This is what happened when you a troll and you talking about other people. They said he was just talking about Lil Jeff getting killed. When it comes to guns, murder, and violence, Chirac is ranked high on the list. With everything from dissing dead ops and shooting up funerals, one would ask, will there ever be a change in Chicago? To really understand the intricacies of this story, we have to dial back to the year 2018. At least six people were shot after a funeral service for a Chicago rapper at a church on Monday, October the 22nd of 2018 during the afternoon hours in the Southside Burnside neighborhood. The shooting happened about 12.30 p.m. outside of Bethlehem Star Missionary Baptist Church, 92131 South Cottage Drive. The most seriously wounded was a 21-year-old man who was shot in the head, landing him in critical condition at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Also at the UFC Medical Center were a 25-year-old man shot in the arm, 27-year-old woman shot in the leg and lower body, and a 24-year-old man shot in the leg. An 18-year-old man was shot and taken to Advocate Christ Medical Center in Oaklawn, and a 23-year-old man was shot in the leg, whom was taken to Advocate Trinity Hospital. The funeral was for 25-year-old Chicago rapper Von Trees R. Chris, aka Dooski. We've learned a little bit more about the victims this afternoon. There were a total of six people who were shot outside the church. It was a pandemonium, a scene of pandemonium right after that happened. The, many of those people who were shot were leaving a funeral inside the church. Six of them injured, four of them were taken by paramedics to uh, hospitals, two of them drove themselves. None of their injuries considered life-threatening at this point. Fortunately, no one inside the daycare was injured. And we just try to comfort them. I mean, it's, I don't know what else to tell them. We don't know what else to tell them. We just hug them and just tell them it's going to be all right. Sherry Savage says there is so much gunfire in her neighborhood. The kids at her daycare, two to six years old, already know to duck when they hear shots. And police say they heard a barrage of shots just after noon. They were coming from across the street at a funeral for a local musician known as Dusky Deman was letting out. His real name is Van Trees Chris. He was killed by gunfire earlier this month. Witnesses today heard a couple of shots at first, apparently fired into the crowd. Then many more, several dozen more shots. Investigators have placed markers indicating where shell casings are located, but so far they have no one in custody. After the incident happened, I do understand that when the police arrived, it was a very chaotic scene, uh, crime scene extending uh, two blocks uh, with shell casings, multiple people shot. Police say they have not yet determined a motive for this shooting or even whether anyone in specific was targeted. They have just reopened Cottage Grove to traffic as they're wrapping up their investigation here. 800 is a set of Mickey Cobras located around the area of 61st and Cottage Grove, a set that has been around a long time and originally came from the projects on Cottage. Their current territory ranges from 61st to 63rd, Cottage Grove to Drexel. After the demolition of the projects, 800 will reside in the gentrified areas. 800 is known for making moves and rarely being found on their own territory. However, 800 is known to occasionally post up on Drexel as well as the alleyways of Cottage. 800 has made a lot of ops over the years, fueled by diss songs and crash outs. Some of 800's most notable beefs were with MTG 039, Bandle Boys, NTW, wreaking havoc in the Woodlawn area. Some of the most well-known members of 800 are Big Mike, TJ, 
Fats, Wapo, Nuke, Vago, Twin, and Twine. Allies of 800 are rumored to be OTV, O29, Raw Town, Frank Block, Big 50 Dipset, and Chief Town. The long list of ops is staggering. DYMB, Snow Block, Jaru City, Taekwon World, NLMB, MOB, Geo Drive, 757, Matt Creek, Saw Block, 051, YM, Face World, 069, Pocket Town, East End, 8 Trey Mob, Murder Town, Tukaville, Evans Mob, and Face World 079. When Dusky's funeral was shot up, it was no surprise that the streets would associate 800 and TJ with the incident. These are the details of what took place before, during, and after the murder of 800 TJ. Tajan Bush, aka 800 TJ, was a known gang member and up and coming rapper from the Burnside neighborhood, later relocating to the 61st and Cottage area of Chicago in 2018, thus coming up with the moniker 800 TJ. I'm from 61st and Cottage Grove. Okay. 61st and Cottage? Yeah. What's the name of that area over there? What's your name? Like, what's, what's the name of that hood? What other hood? 61st and Cottage? Yeah. That ain't no hood in there? What you mean? That's us. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm asking. That's 800. That's 800. What oh, you that's, mean? that's 800? Yeah. Okay. You got to say the names for the fans. Oh, uh, yeah. No, nah, I was trying to see what you were saying. You're talking about what community. I just told That's our block. Word. Hey, so what, what was it like growing up over there? Shit, like, I went in, like, like over there for, like, so long. Like, like I was, I came around, like, like six years ago type shit. Like I wasn't really like living down that type shit, you know? Okay. So what were you raised at? I was raised on 93rd Cottage. Okay. That's Burnside, ain't it? Yeah. I know the name of that area. Hell yeah. Getting in trouble with the law was nothing new to TJ as he had been a career criminal ever since the age of 13, being introduced to stealing cars by Marlo. At 13, I just started catching cases and shit. Yeah, yeah. 13? Yeah. What was the first case you caught? It was like, it was a steamer case. Okay. It was a steamer case. Grand Theft Auto? It wasn't even like so. <laughs> they had like, it was like, free Marlo, man. Free Marlo. Because like, he was the first one who like, got me out here type shit like that. You know? Yeah. So at, at age 13... You jump in the steamers. Who taught you how to drive? Marlo. Okay. I oh, got it. Yeah. So tell us though, like the 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 fun, you know, you having at age thirteen, you running around, you jumping the cars, you know, like yeah. what 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 made that fun? I don't know, Scott. Like I don't know. Like after that, like after the age of like thirteen, I started getting booked and shit. Right. Man, we were just getting it on. It was just fun. It's good. Like they we couldn't they couldn't stop us. Like we were juvenile, so we couldn't they couldn't really do nothing to us. So we were just doing anything. On January the twenty fifth of two thousand and twenty two, TJ dropped the infamous diss track Fuck the Ops, in which he would diss damn near ten people, majority of which he didn't know. It wouldn't be long before TJ would be arrested that same year for illegal possession of a firearm, in which he would do eight months of a three year sentence. You just got out of jail recently, correct? Yeah. How long were you locked up? Uh, what that was? Eight months. Okay. Uh, you had got sentenced to three years. Yeah, three three years at fifty percent. Okay. Um, and there's a gun charge. Yeah. Okay. So what you spent the whole uh time in Cook County Jail? No, I I came to the county because I was on the bed for like nine months. Okay. I was on the bed for like nine months doing all this shit. So like. And then I got booked outside on 29th. I wound up going to the county. They wound up coming with a deal. I just took that bitch, slid, and got back out. As with most of the dudes his age that are engulfed in the gang culture of Chicago, TJ's mindset was that of not being able to see himself disassociating with the streets. What can you do to remove yourself from the street life you yeah. really, you really can't. 
Okay. Like, how you gonna do that? Like, where you gonna go? Like, it's people that know you from everywhere. Like, everywhere. It ain't it ain't hard to just, you know, get a call or anything. Like, anything. People know each other. Everybody know each other. You know what I'm saying? So, but so, so, TJ, you say, though, you can't. So, you say you can't remove yourself from the Yeah, no, no. Nah, nah. So, you end it for life, basically. Yeah. Well, I, I think one day you'll be able to, you know, remove yourself from How? The Lord How? Willing. If you trying to remove yourself, it's still niggas around, like around you, like they not just gonna let you just like, you know, like nigga. So 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 if a nigga tell you to jump off the bridge, you gonna do that motherfucker, huh? <laughs> Hell no, that's good. You talking about the niggas around yeah, you. Fuck that. About <laughs> Fuck that. Hey, look, man, you growing up, you a young man, you feel me? Ain't nothing more important out here than your family. Determined at making it in the music industry, TJ will state that 2024 was his year to blow. Honestly, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, like, 2024 my year type shit like that, I was really, 2023, 2022, like, it, we had, I had some shit going on, I had some shit going on, 12 hours on my beers and some shit like that, so, 2024, we finna do it, like, we finna do it. However, in an unfortunate turn of events, TJ will lose his life, stemming from an incident in which he had stolen a switch. Talking about. Hey, why your ass lying for us, shorty? We don't even do that, blood. You on this baby <laughs> bopping and shit, blood. It's why is you lying? Tell him stop vlogging. He's talking about we stole your gun. How the fuck we steal your gun, nigga? Tell me how the fuck we steal your gun, nigga. We ain't steal shit. And I, I didn't steal shit. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? You gave me the gun. And I took off on your ass, and you tried to run back up on me, and I upped on your ass. He told your ass, get back, I get back, nigga. What you do? Fall back, nigga. Fall back. Your ass a bitch, nigga. Your ass got back. I gonna pop your ass on Franco Gray, nigga. Hey, stop playing with me, little boy. You tell my son I stole some shit on Frank. I ain't steal oh, shit from you. Take that shit in his face. On oh, my son, I ain't steal shit. I ain't take shit from you, nigga. I was just on live on the same page, nigga. I was on hey, live when to I took. Rap. I was on live when I rap. took your gun, nigga. On my son. Everybody know that rap. whoever was just on my last live, nigga. I just took your shit on live, nigga. You a bitch. <laughs> oh, verse old, nigga. Stop fucking lying. Tell my I stole your shit. I ain't steal shit, nigga. I took it, nigga. What are you talking about? You know why I tried to run back up and get your shit off and I pop the fuck out of you on verse old. Yo, I got to running down the street in the hundreds. You got me all the way in the hundreds and shit. <laughs> fuck you got me in the hundreds and shit for, boy. Then you fuck with my ops. I don't get no fuck about you, dude. What the fuck? It was just a matter of time for I come here. Come here. Yo, I be lying. Then you get on a live about it. I wasn't even going to get on live. I was just going to, you know. Like, I'm just gonna wait on you to keep on texting me and shit. That why I keep on texting me. I wish you could show still show measure. Hold on, I say you could show. Look at him. <laughs> Buddy, on with me. He ready, bro. He ready, bro. He ready to crash out. <laughs> we that crash. Damn, what are y'all with me? Blah! <laughs> Damn! Shit! Damn! I ain't finna do that for blood. Don't do no shit like that. I ain't gonna turn you up. I ain't gonna turn ain't you up. But you know, I ain't thing. gonna. Let's you know, in the car already. They say, go live. Go live, TJ. Go live, TJ. His ass bapping. Go ass some life. Damn, you gonna get on me, blood? Damn. That's crazy. Don't do no shit like that. Shit to you, Known for trolling the dead over social media, TJ's antics had finally caught up to him. Not even 24 hours after TJ went with his move for the pipe, he would be splatted on the Dan Ryan Expressway Wow, he was stuck in traffic. Update this breaking news just in. We have learned that a 22-year-old man was killed in that shooting on the Dan Ryan Expressway. The Cook County coroner identified him as Ty John Bush. That shooting happened in the northbound lanes between 79th and 83rd. This around 515 in the height of rush hour traffic last night. That shooting is under investigation.